And here he is. Quite an impressive uh, facade he's got going on here. He's got lions. Lions in the throne room. And look at this swagalicious motherfucker. Zubin the Chosen One. That is quite a get-up. It is said that a warrior has come. A warrior from the north. You have come late. The test has already begun. What sort of test? I am searching for a warrior. A fighter who is ready to take on an important mission. You can stop looking. I will accept your mission. Yes. I believe you will. But, as I already said, the test has begun. Therefore, you must take part in it. Speak to Ugrasol. He is taking care of the details. And that is all we can really do with him for now. Unless, of course, we chose to kill him. But we will not do that as it stands. It is more important that we see exactly what he has in mind. And to do that, we have to take his test. Ugrasol has wandered off, and I believe this is him. I've come about the test. Really? It has already started. But if Suben sent you, you can try your luck. Hey, I worked with a do? testifier. It's quite simple. Everyone in the city has the right to put you to the test. And believe me, most of them will be thrilled. I will observe you. We'll see how well you do. You test me. If you want to master Suben's special mission, you must first master fighting with two weapons. I will instruct you. So, I believe this is a case where you don't have to take care of every single uh, test, as long as you complete the majority of them. Who are my competitors? Zarkos. He is a good fighter. He has assembled his own troop and is hunting lions. And Soros the Mage is also participating in the test. I believe he's also still in the city brewing potions. And is that it? Those are my only competitors. Well, let's have a word with Suras then. I will take part in your test. What? You want to be the one to take on Zubin's mission? I've been honing my skills for years. How long have you been here? A few days? Punk, you haven't got a chance. We shall see. Exactly. We shall see. Well, he's very confident. I can't wait to throw a wrench into his gears. And see how smug he is after that. I want you to test me. What? You want to be the marvelous fighter Zubin is looking for? I will give you a chance to prove that. Of course! Each fighter pays his tribute before they match. I want to fight. Makus will be the first fighter you face. Come on, show us what you're made of. Oh, I intend to. Arena fight. So, this is one of the sort of higher stakes arenas in this game. But of course, as with every arena... Where is the guy I'm supposed to fight? Uh, waiting for a man named Makus. There he is. He was all the way upstairs. But yeah, as with every arena... Whoops, that was uh, excessive. As with every arena in this game, if you lose, you can just get up and fight again. Alright, I'm ready for you. You're as good as defeated. <clears throat> How did that man? miss? How am I not blocking, for God's sake? Woof, Daddy. I am not leaving the arena, he is. Alright, it wasn't too bad, it wasn't too bad. Where'd your other sword go? Yeah, this uh, platform is a little bit weird. There's no actual collision with it. So, uh, 
Well, I think it's supposed to be sand, actually, now that I look at it more closely. So that might explain why. You're damn right. Are you going to put me to the test, too? You know, I'm not terribly fond of these tests. They're sending good men out at random, just so they can prove their courage or their strength. Does that mean you're not going to test me? You know, if you insist on proving yourself, you might as well do something that's actually useful. Go see Kafa. He's guarding the wells outside the city. He's always got things to do. Go see whether you can help him. I shall. So this might actually stretch Fine. out into more than one episode, but uh, we'll Little see what comes of it. Won't be that easy. Well, Give me an we'll see about that. Let Musan fight. He'll show you who's boss. Musan. All right, yeah, dirty fool. Oh, he's only got one weapon. He's a confident motherfucker, but how? Whoa! I'm not even sure how I blocked that, to be honest. Good lord, he's going ape. There was nothing I could do to stop that. How? That is unfucking believable. Be yeah, I eat it. That was ridiculous. I don't know how he did that. Test for me. The man Zubin is looking for has to be a well-traveled tough bastard. That's me. He knows how to hunt and never shies from a fight. That's me too. It's no problem for him to bring me five lion skins. But not the regular ones. Skins from those rotten beasts. Because they are the worst lions there are. A tough bastard must know a thing or two about hunting. And if he doesn't, he'd go find someone to teach him. And where would a tough bastard look for the rotten beasts? Those creatures roam throughout the desert and join other prides. There is an entire pride of them somewhere in the west. Oh, by the way, I also gave Zarkos this test. Now, I do have the skins, but I believe that we can actually... Uh, get some dialogue with Zarkos if we talk to him before completing this quest, so we'll take care of that afterwards. Alright, so you defeated Musan. The next fight won't be Well, let's Bring try it anyway. Opponent. You will go up against Emmett. He has been preparing for weeks. You don't stand a chance. Weeks? Is that all he's been doing? I've been fighting like this for years. You're as good as Why was I targeting that guy? Fight, man. <laughs> oh my god, he's going ham. <laughs> Damn, he hits hard. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that happened. Oh, that sucked. Get away from me. You are not taking my stuff. Fuck you. Fuck you. Let's see if I can get the, uh, preemptive strike here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't understand how that happened. Unfortunately, I can't go any further. That's right, bitch. Oh, I missed. Oh, I can't believe I just fucking walked into that. Alright, potion first. 
And then, uh, spell. Good lord, that was close. Get rid of that. Nothing more, nothing to be had. Next time, I'll show you. Put me to the test. You know, you really helped me out with that package. I think I can say that I tested you enough. Here, do something towards your training instead. Sweet. Oh, that was easy. Alright, uh, have we done enough for this arena master? You just knocked three awfully good fighters to the ground. I'll tell you something. You have passed my test. There's Swiggity nobody swear. else I could send to fight you. Except for myself, of course. But let's keep this fair. And another thing. Here's your hard-earned gold. <laughs> I paid $1,500 into this and he gives me 600 Alright, Sven does not have a test for us. Uh, let's see if the uh, other mage has a test. No, he doesn't have a test. Interesting. Does this house belong to anybody? Doesn't really look like it. Uninteresting. Uninteresting. I thought that one of these slaves might have had a name. It is time to clean up here. But I might be mistaken about that. You are fat, which means you must be important. I am Montesir, servant of Belian, and steward of Vista. One of our men stayed behind in the desert. You can flop down in his hut. First one at the top of the stairs, one with the skulls over the entrance. Cool. I took the raw ore to Sven. Wonderful. Soon we will equip our fighters with magic ore weapons. With these weapons, they will defeat all our enemies. Here, this is for you. Sure, sure. Ah, so he also sells the armor. Out of curiosity, what would I get for this? Ah, that wouldn't be enough. Not even close. So you said the ones with the skulls over the entrance. This is not the one. He's actually talking about the hut right up here. This one. So this is the hut that you are entitled to. Which is pretty swag. Alright, well, we have a couple things we need to do outside of town now. Need to talk to uh, Kafu, I think his name was, and see if he has anything he needs us to do at the uh, the wells of Ishtar. Hey, didn't you forget something? What? You are taking part in the trial, right? Don't think I'm not going to try you just because I'm not standing inside the city. So what will it be? Your competitor, Zarkos, has been out there for quite a while, lion hunting or something like that. He took an ancient bowl from me. Took it? Fighting in the arena, but he only won because of a trick. So bring me back that bowl and get rid of Zarkos while you are at it. Have you got anything else? You ought to be careful. There are some really evil fellows lurking out there. I think they're looking for you. Where do they come from? Well, it looks like you made a few enemies in town. Mm, interesting. Can I find Zarkos? He set up camp a little further north. Once you get to the wells, just go straight ahead. But do not follow the path. Keep to the mountainside instead. Watch out for lions, though. Yeah, I can handle lions. So, apparently someone has uh, put a bit of a hit out on us. 
In fact, the uh, would-be assassins are not too far outside the city. They're chilling around this tower, I think. So, be on your guard. Naturally, it's not that difficult to preempt their strike a little bit. Maybe I was mistaken about that. I don't seem to see them. Either they spawn on the way back, or they're actually down by the walls. But I could have sworn they were chilling around here. No, no. Alright. Well, maybe they'll pop up on the way back. Alright, let's just go see Kafu then. Hast thou work for me? Oh no, you're Giacomo. I'm looking for Kafa. He's up oh, there Kaffa. by the other wells. Thanks. You would be Kafa, I presume. Marcus sent me. I'm supposed to help you. Makus? He's been up there for quite a while. Wait, what was that? Jackals. Come on, let's kill them. Yes, let's kill them. Actually, this would probably be better suited. Is there only one? Why are you targeting him? Goodness sake. How have I missed? Oh dear, oh my. Yipe! Oh my goodness! He's a no joke. Not when you fight him like this. But fortunately, I know that that's enough to kill him. Jackal attack. The worms eat you. Those filthy beasts. Sometimes they even attack more than once. Damn it. They went to the other wells. Man, they are tenacious. More jackals. Filthy little buggers. I have ambitions far, far greater than they are. Well, that one's after me, strangely. Oh dear, oh my. Why are you charging? Why do they keep doing that? Get back here. Back. That is the end of you, miserable beast. Where are you going? <laughs> Those mangy beasts thought they could fool us. Well, we certainly taught them a lesson. So, where were we? Marcus sent me. Right. Then kill the leaders of these filthy jackal packs. Where are the jackals hanging out? They are coming down the hill. There's a cave up there. Simple enough. Where there are caves, there are beasts. Where there are beasts, there is soon to be blood. So let's go take care of it. Flame wave should make a short mess of them. There sure are a lot of them. Ooh, woof daddy. Yes, come closer and die. I don't know if there was a leader amongst these. The leader doesn't look unique, but I think he does have a unique name. Perhaps not, or perhaps the leaders are only inside the cave. Let's 
take care of some business then. Yeah, there's a pack leader. Come closer. And burn. That weren't all of them. But it were a bunch of them. Hmm, strange. So, I mean, that's all the ones that were inside here. The rest of them must be roaming around outside. Now, do the pack leaders have anything interesting on them? No, absolutely not. And another heavy chest. We seem to be finding a lot of these lately. We got the Nimrod. I wonder where that name came from. Because, in my knowledge, it has a distinctly derogatory meaning. I'm not really sure how it applies to a bow. Perhaps there are further jackals up here. That would not seem to be the case. We do have a flame berry. I don't think these ones are related. Whoa! Howdy doody. There's not what I expected to see up here. What? Bullshit. How is he immune to that? Give me your heart. I want it. Oh, well, there's a quite a big plateau up here, but I don't think the uh, wolf pack really ranged this far. So I'm a bit confused. There's some ruined walls down here, and we're kind of close to the shore. I don't believe there's anything of distinct value around here. You are all free to correct me if I'm wrong. I do see a cave over there, though. Or at least what appears to be a cave. Sand Lucas. Oh dear, oh my. Yeah, eat it. Oh, hello. Wow, right in the face. Oh god, they're coming from the walls. What are you doing, you fool? Eat it. Can't get to jump on me like that. Not allowed. And this cave is completely worthless by the looks of it. I see no chests. Not even any worthwhile plants. This is just one of those cases where I think uh, Piranha Bites got a little carried away with the caves. Well, we still have to find some jackals.
Whoa! Whoa! Oh god, oh dear. <laughs> Three pack players. I only killed two. Oh well, not complaining. That was a surprise. So those ones must have just been on the move every single time I went looking for them. Alright. Those damn dirty dogs are dealt with. I killed the Jackal Pack leaders. Great. Then those lousy beasts will probably leave us alone for a while. Mm. I don't think the Jackals will dare show up here again. You can tell Makus that you helped me. Good. Good. But first, let's go and um, deal with Zarkos, the Lion Hunter. Alright, now I think we might have a problem where we have to fight all of these guys. So... I'm looking for the rotten beasts. I will kill you. But since you want to die, there's a cave a bit north of here. However, if you go there, a few bare bones are all that will be left of you. I already killed them. I'm participating in Zubin's test. Really? Then you're my competition. And thus a potential problem. And problems need to be eliminated. You're oh, yes? To die. Ah, ah, yeah! Oh god. Oh dear. Hurry! Yeah, eat it. Fireballs to glory. And there's Osama's bow. Is there anything of interest or value here? I would say not really. Nope, no chest, no nothing. All right, well, back to Ishtar. Now, I can't remember what exactly culture it was, but I'm aware that the name Ishtar is some sort of ancient uh, goddess of fertility or something, so I wonder how that came to be the, uh, came to be the name of this city. It's also, I'm aware, the name of a very poorly received movie. Here's your bowl. Very good. Did you take out Zarkos? So much for Zarkos. You are going to make your mark in the world, father of trials. I'm glad you think so. At least someone has faith in me. And let's go talk to Hunter Dude. Oh yeah, you too. That's great. Then I won't have to go back anytime soon. I will tell Ugrasal that you passed my test. Good. And you? Here are your skins. You are one tough bastard. I think Zubin could use you. Glad you think so too. That should be enough. Hopefully Ugrisol will be pleased with us. But where is he? Bonk! How am I doing with the tests? Yes. If anyone is the man for Zubin, you are. Go to him. I say the test is over. Excellent. I am the man.
Ugrasol sent me. I have completed your test. Good. Then you are now my new man. Congratulations. What mission do you have for me? The sand hides ancient and powerful mysteries. Some are of use to us. Others should remain hidden forever. The orcs are digging in the ruins of the Ancient Ones. They're looking for something they do not understand. Only Zardas understands it. Tell me, what are they seeking? What dark secret does Zardas believe he knows? What ancient power does he hope to find? Seek out Zardas and find out what he has the orcs digging for. So he pretty much gives us the same quest that... Uh, King Robar gives us, only he's far less accessible. So it's kind of weird that, um, you know, they play it out that way as if you're going to meet Zubin before you ever meet Zardas, basically. Zardas is seeking the five artifacts of Adenos. So, that's it. The artifacts of Adenos. The power of the gods. I see. What do you know about them? The artifacts of Adenos open the gate to the world of the gods. The gate to Beliar. With the help of the artifacts, his power can manifest itself. If you place those artifacts in the temple of Beliar, you will receive a part of his power. Provided... Provided what? Provided you possess the right focus to guide the power. What is this focus? My staff. The staff of the Eternal Wanderer. I want to offer you a deal. What sort of deal? Get the five artifacts of Adenos. Then I will give you the staff of the Wanderer. And you can receive the power of Beliar. I see. Now it's interesting that he offers that, because you have to wonder why would he... Zubin not be interested in acquiring the power for himself. I have found the five artifacts. Then you are also worthy of carrying my staff. Take it. Take the staff of the Eternal Wanderer. Go to the temple in Bakaresh and demand what is yours from Beliar. And that's that. We have opened the uh, three endings at this point. That's really all we needed to do. Is there any more of interest around here? Master of Combat, what is that? Oh yeah, just to learn two-handed fighting. Alright, alright, alright. So, I think uh, we're just gonna... We're just gonna kinda call it quits here for now. And in the next episode we will truly start working towards... Uh, one of the endings, and I think we're just going to do the Enos ending first. For that reason, I'm going to keep a save all the way at the bottom. This will be uh, the save that I draw from each time I start a new ending. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed watching. It's good to be back at this. I admit, uh, even though I enjoyed the holidays and the bit of a break, I honestly was starting to feel a little bit... <laughs> Uh, almost depressed being away from this for so long. And uh, it's good to be back at it. I wonder why these assassins never triggered. That's irrelevant. Uh, see you next time. Hopefully it won't take as long, even though I will be uh, sort of indisposed Wednesday night and probably all of Thursday for uh, the new year. And uh, I will see you all next time.